Well, hello, everybody, and welcome in once again to another edition of Get to Know the Royals here on the YouTube page of, of course, the Queen Sports Network. As always, I'm Mike Glennon, and I am joined today by a very special lady uh, in the athletics department and beyond here as the Queen's family, and that's Miss Robbie Garriott. And uh, Miss Garriott, thank you so much for joining us here this oh, morning. Oh, it's my pleasure. Thank you for asking me. Absolutely. Well, you know, Robbie. Uh, I just mentioned it. You're, you're kind of uh, synonymous when it comes to the athletic department here at Queens. And, uh, you know, you've been here for a minute. Everybody knows who you are. And that's largely because you are probably one of the nicest people I've ever met in my entire life. I just want to throw that out there. Thank you. Uh, you know, Miss Robbie, let's start with this. You know, kind of what brought you to Queens and, and how long you've been here and kind of, you know, what it is you see you do for this athletic department? Well, I've been here for 14 years, almost 14 years. And what brought me here was the fact that I just love people. I had retired from another organization, another company, and I was really bored looking for something that I could make a difference. So I wanted to make a difference. And this happened to have fallen into my lap. And I just really enjoyed doing, and when I saw what athletics was all about, I said, hey, I think I'm a good fit. Let me go here and see what I can do to make a difference. So I can Well, uh, hey, you've made a difference, that is for sure. And, uh, you know, again, whether it's helping, uh, whether it's myself or anybody else in the athletic department with getting stuff ordered, whatever it is, or just making a smile. That's always a big thing as well. And I know, uh, you know, I feel like that's something you take pride in is just being, you know, outgoing and personable with as many people as you can. And just, like you said, making a difference. Yeah, I enjoy the staff, the faculty, whomever I come across. I feel like every day is a great day here at Queens. But I love the kids. I try to make an impression. I try to be there for them. A lot of kids confide in me and say they need this or they need that. And I try to make things happen within reason as long as it's about their academics or even with sports. I want to be there for them. So I extend a olive branch and say, hey, look, when you need help, come see me. Let me see what I can do to make a difference. Well, and you know, let's be honest, in this day and age, that's, uh, that's kind of going by the wayside. And it's nice to know that um, whether they, you know, whenever it is they need you, they have that bit of uh, sense of mind or peace of mind, I should say, to be able to reach out to you and get a hold of you. You know, Miss um, Robbie, you talked about kind of you retired. Uh, what did you do before Queens? And, you know, where are you originally from? And just t kind of talk about uh, kind of, you know, who you are outside of Queens. Well, I am a widower. My husband died five years ago, but I worked at Queen at Bell South or Southern Bell, as it was said then, for 33 gotcha. years. So I retired, had a ball for a couple of years, and found out I'm not one just to sit still and do nothing. Fair so enough. I started looking for something else to do, and they here at Queens enabled me to find that niche that I was looking for. Now, when I leave Queens one of these days and not be carried out, I probably will find somewhere else to go, like to Walmart or somewhere. Welcome to Walmart. So, because I'm just not one just to sit at home. And I enjoy people. That is the difference. I enjoy people. Well, and I can promise you, people enjoy you, and uh, that, I, and and I'm telling you right now, I don't know, I don't want to speak for Sherry here, but uh, it's going to take a lot to have to get you out of here. So I'm just <laughs> saying, you you might be here for a lot longer than you think you're going oh. to without your own decision. So well, uh, we'll see. I did tell her to, if ever I stop being effective in my job, let me know. I'll walk out and just have a ball somewhere else and tell them, hey, I worked at Queens, let me in. Yeah, exactly. Well, trust me, you'll be able to go anywhere and get a job. I know that much, but I can promise you we're going to try to keep you around here for a lot longer as well. Okay. Um, you know, let me ask you this kind of, where does that sense of, of you know, wanting to, to be there for people come from? I, I mean, is that something that you were brought up with and, and kind of, you know, where does that stem from? It stems from my parents. I am a Charlottean, which is something very rare. And my parents always said, always lift a person up and help them to do whatever they can. And I will go further in life. And that has truly proven to be exactly that. If you help somebody, then you'll get it in threefold. And that's how I was raised. 
um, just doing for other people. That's what my parents did, and I saw them doing it. So, of course, I wanted to do it as well, and it has helped me through life. Well, you, you've you been led by example, and now you lead by example in terms of, uh, you know, reaching out. And, you know, that's something, and, you know, my grandfather had always told me that in terms of just be there for someone, and it'll come back tenfold. And, yes, you know, right. and, and just got to... Uh, put yourself and make yourself vulnerable that way in terms of being there for people when they need it, whether they know they need it or not, just be there. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Well, you know, Miss Robbie, let me ask you one more question before we, uh, before we wrap things up here. If you, if you were talking to somebody that's coming into Queens, which I know you do, I mean, you talk to people about mm -hmm. Queens all the time that aren't already a member of the Queens family. What is it you tell them that's so special about this place and why you keep coming back year after year? I tell them over and over when I meet people that this is a family-oriented school and that if you trust us to get the education or just being a visitor and just enjoying our facilities or games or whatever, that if you just trust us, we'll make your life a little bit better. And so that's what I tell people after people, and it has proven to be true. Um, Queens is family oriented. We are here to help any and everybody do whatever they need done. And the sports are outstanding so that people continue coming back just to see the sports. Absolutely. Hey, yes. it, go Royals, right? Go Royals. <laughs> well, you know, and can you just talk a little bit more about kind of, you know, I guess I was going to say talk about what it is you do, and I feel like this the, the list is shorter of stuff that you don't do. Uh, <laughs> but at the same time, you know, can you just talk about kind of your role here in the athletic department? Ooh. Obviously, we've already talked to her of that sort of, uh, you know, mentor, be there for, for people kind of way. But, you know, what it is you do kind of on a daily basis? Well, basically, I do a lot of clerical work, answering the phones, different things of that nature. But I am involved with just making sure everybody is where they need to be, especially my boss. I work directly with Sherry Swartow, who is the director of athletics. And sometimes she needs a little bit of help in getting places or making sure that things are correct for her meetings or set up meetings. Um, and as far as the staff that works under her, I make sure that everybody have what they need in order to get their job done. Uh, a lot of times they come to me, hey, I need a pen or I need scissors or whatever. So I try to make that happen. Sure. But the best thing about it is, is to make their jobs easier, whether, whether it's the coaches or the staff or whomever, just make their jobs a little bit easier. So when they come to work, they will enjoy their jobs as well as I do. Just put a smile on somebody's face. So well, that's basically it. It is what it hey. is. I, I love that. And, you know, it's one of those things that not only do you help people out, but as you said, you put a smile on their face and I can promise you, you make their day a whole lot better. So uh, I, I know that's happened several times for me and it continues to. So, Miss Robbie, we, of course, thank you for all that. Thank you so much for this interview. I loved it. Absolutely. All right. That'll do it for us. We, of course, thank you, Miss Robbie, for joining us here this morning. And uh, we will promise, hey, I'm just saying, you better be prepared because we're coming back. We're going to interview you again. I, I want to keep talking to you. So. Okay. Anytime. Right. Thank you. Sounds good. All right. Join us next time here on another edition of Get to Know the Royals. As always, I'm Mike Glennon. Thank you to Miss Robbie Garriott for joining us here this morning. We're back each and every Tuesday morning at 10 a.m. right here on our YouTube page. And as always, go Royals.